We've talked about settling on the moon, Mars, and even Venus. But how about somewhere that's cold, dark, and smells like farts? Uranus. What would conditions be like on this ice giant? What kind of settlement would you need to build? And what dangers would you encounter on the stinkiest planet in the solar system? Welcome to your new home on the seventh planet from the sun. You'd now be a whopping 2.9 billion kilometers, 1.8 billion miles, away from our solar system's energy source. Following in the footsteps of NASA's Voyager 2 probe, the journey to Uranus would take about nine and a half years. But now that you've made it, you would catch a great view of this ice giant. What you'd find is a planet four times wider than the Earth, orbited by 27 known moons and 13 rings. Plus, it would be rotating east to west and tipped over on its side. Well, it's about time you head down to the surface. Wait, where's the surface? As you descend, hold your nose. This place stinks. The gassy atmosphere of Uranus is primarily made up of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The higher altitudes would be the smelliest, thanks to the pungent, rotten egg smell of hydrogen sulfide. Going further down toward the planet's surface, you'd start to notice there isn't one. Uranus is smaller and compositionally different than the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. It consists of slushy water, methane and ammonia fluids above a small, rocky center. Not that you'd be able to see very much, Uranus only receives about 0.27% as much sunlight as the Earth. So you'd be living in darkness. With the lack of sunlight and surface, you couldn't grow your own food there. Your ship would need to supply you with food. But you could source your water from the planet's water ice. You'd find conditions on the planet very cold and windy. Temperatures in some parts of the atmosphere could be as low as minus 225 degrees Celsius, minus 373 degrees Fahrenheit. That's colder than Neptune, the outermost planet in the solar system. Massive clouds of ammonia and methane ice crystals would swirl around you. Storms almost two-thirds the size of the US would batter you with wind speeds up to 900 kilometers per h, 560 miles per hour. But it's too late to turn back now. You'd need to figure out how to settle and survive in these conditions. Establishing yourself on the surface would be a definite no-go. And the strongest, most frigid winds would tear you apart in the lower altitudes. Your best bet would be a floating settlement up high in the clouds. But this wouldn't be your average blimp or airship settlement. Blimps only lift when inflated with a gas that is lighter than the surrounding atmosphere. On Earth, you'd use helium. On Uranus, there would be no lighter gas to use. That's due to the atmosphere made of molecular hydrogen and atomic helium. However, you could try something more theoretical, like a near vacuum ship. Are you ready to take a trip to the outer regions of the solar system? To explore the weirdest planet in our cosmic neighborhood? To venture down into a place that's never been studied up close by any spacecraft? Buckle up for an icy, violent, and stinky adventure, because your mission is to spend five seconds on Uranus and come back, if you can. Let's make you aware about Uranus facts. Traveling to Uranus would be a long, strange journey. First, you'd have to spend 10 long years in a spaceship, speeding toward the outskirts of the solar system. If you're lucky, you might even pass Jupiter and Saturn on the way. Just make sure you pack enough food and fuel. Well, there are some things you should know about this world. Uranus isn't a rocky planet like Earth. It's an ice giant like Neptune. And it's the only planet in the solar system that spins on its side. It spins fast, too. One day on Uranus is just 17 Earth hours. Of course, you wouldn't last that long on it. Once you arrived at your destination, you'd still have some work to do to get close to this giant blue planet. You might have to dodge Uranian rings. Yeah, Uranus has rings, 13 of them. 
They aren't big and majestic like the gorgeous rings of Saturn. The outer rings are bright and easy to spot, but the inner rings are narrow and dark. You have to navigate this part of the trip with the utmost care. As you made your way through the dusty rings of Uranus, you'd see its glorious blue atmosphere up close for the first time in human history. Take a moment to enjoy the view. You know why nobody, and I mean nobody, has ever tried to land anything on the surface of this beautiful planet? Because Uranus has no surface. It's just a swirling ball of toxic gas compressed around a small icy core. Oh, and wait until I tell you why those gases on Uranus are toxic. It's true. Uranus might have a calming blue color, but it's cold and toxic not the kind of blue planet you want to visit. The pressure is 100 times greater than the atmospheric pressure at Earth's sea level. You are approaching the mantle. The surface gravity would be only 90% as strong as the Earth's. So if you weighed 75 kilograms, 165 pounds on Earth, you'd now be a lighter 67 kilograms, 148 pounds. Another thing you'd have to get used to is time. One Uranian day would be equal to about 17 hours on Earth. That wouldn't be so bad. But get ready for one incredibly long trip around the Sun. One year on Uranus would equal 84 Earth years. You could die of old age before the year is over. You could even live an entire life in just one 42-year-long summer or winter. A nice long summer on Earth sounds pretty good right about now. Maybe it's time we tilted the Earth sideways on its axis to see what would happen. The good news is, you wouldn't splatter on anything because there's not much in the way of solids on Uranus. The Uranian mantle is made of water, ammonia, and methane ice. It would be pitch black in here. Thanks to the extreme gravity, you wouldn't be able to move a muscle, and it would still be incredibly cold. What you should be worried about is the immense pressure that would be rapidly increasing closer to the planet's center. It would squish you before you could ever get to the core, being crushed by Uranus. I always thought it would be way nicer. In this extreme pressure environment, your carbon-based body could turn into diamonds and drop down to the core. What a spectacular way to finish this one-way trip to the center of Uranus. Our solar system is enormous. There are so many planets and moons that are a lot more hospitable for a five-second mission than Uranus. Where should you go next? How about a place covered in methane lakes and with a fantastic view of Saturn in the sky? So friends, what do you think about this event? Write your views in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.